Um, and so, Maya, do you think that uh, the government, the Congress, should tighten its belt? It's right now negotiating a massive end of the year spending bill to fund the government, something that's necessary to do uh, for the rest of the fiscal year until September 30th. Um, they're talking about $860 billion for defense. Um, we don't yet know what they're talking about for, for domestic spending. Um, what, you know, do they need to, to restrict the spending to help the economy? Yeah, thank you. It's a great question, and it's really nice to be with you on the show, which I think is an excellent show. Um, yeah, I agree with Glenn. Let me start by taking a step back and saying it is preposterous that we are talking about how to fund the government now, many months into the fiscal year, right? Our budget, budget process is so broken that we don't budget anymore. This is, this is like the 26th year, I believe, we found that we have not passed these appropriation bills on time. And in fact, the budget committees did not even come out with budgets this year. This is no way to run a small company, let alone a country. So it's clear that we have to change the way we do budgeting in the first place so that we are dealing with these, wrestling with these issues in an appropriate time, not at the last minute. And then to your point about where we are in the economy and how fiscal policy plays in, this is a very tricky moment. When you are stuck between high levels of inflation, there's been some recent minorly good news, but still it is a bad situation where we are with inflation and the risk of going into a recession. There are a lot of considerations in monetary policy and fiscal policy. What you want to do in terms of fiscal policy is not make the problem worse. And the way that you do that is by creating more demand, putting more money into the economy. And so, yes, this is a time where not only do we need to worry about our borrowing because we have debt that is at near record levels. This is oh, this is the only time the only time that the debt as a share of GDP was higher than it is right now is right after World War II. So we are in a bad debt situation, but more immediate is the fact that exacerbating that from more borrowing actually makes the inflation challenge worse. And so given how many members of Congress you have saying inflation is the number one economic problem we're trying to address, anybody who is about to vote for new borrowing is going to make that inflationary situation worse.